What's going on guys, Aussie here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have got the new headliner objective card to review and it is going to be Zachary, a card that looks really, really good. 87 pace in that midfield, that is not a joke. And then on top of that, he's got 81 dribbling, 81 passing, 75 shooting, which isn't bad at all. He's got 86 defending and 90 physicals. Keep in mind, he's a 6 foot free player which means that reach in that midfield is going to be simply incredible he has got high medium work work rate which is okay i would say obviously we would have preferred high high even medium high would have been i felt like a little bit better for zacharia because i feel like he's most likely going to be a holding cdm but we are going to have to deal with the high medium work rates now he has got three star skill moves and he has got a three star week for as well now the chem style i've decided to go for is the shadow chem style just giving him the extra pace even though it says 87 pace on the card he's only got 83 acceleration so applying that shadow chem style onto this card giving him 93 acceleration and 90 99 sprint speed you can just tell he is going to be an extremely fast player in that midfield now obviously the shadow chem style doesn't just boost pace it also boosts defending stats and the defending stats with the shadow chem style is looking incredible we're talking about a six foot three player with 96 interceptions 78 heading accuracy 92 defensive awareness 98 standing tackling and 99 slide tackling i am expecting him to put in one hell of a tackle now he isn't just a player now, can play in a CDM position. It looks like he is also a player that can play in a center mid position because the shooting ability and the dribbling ability and the passing as well isn't looking too bad. Yes, the shooting isn't like looking like anything top tier, but if you get him in a good position inside the box, if he's in there somehow, some way, give it a go. He's got 77 finishing with 86 shot power. It can go into the back of the net. Now, has he got any shooting traits? Unfortunately, he does not. Now, his passing ability... Passing ability is looking very nice. You know for a fact with him having 89 short passing, he isn't going to be screwing up those little simple passes, right? It's just the vision and the long passing being 82. I, that tells me that he will be able to do an over top through ball all the way to the other side, down, like, down to the winger. It's just I reckon he won't be able to do it consistently. Like it won't be a perfect pass every time. Now his dribbling ability is looking okay. Keep in mind he is a six foot three player. So a six foot three player having 89 reactions, 90 composure, 82 dribbling and 82 ball control isn't too bad. It's just the 69 balance and the 72 agility obviously doesn't look the greatest. Now the physicals, 71 jumping is okay. It isn't anything special, but at least he's a six foot three player. So most likely he will be winning those headers in the midfield anyway he has got 87 stamina uh, 87 stamina though which means he will be lasting for the whole of the 90 minutes and he has got 93 strength and 91 aggression so he will be going into tackles very aggressively and he will be using that strength to hold off players now the links for this guy the links are top tier there's no other way of me putting this you can link him up with this amazing amazing so card then you can link him up with players like sule as well you can link him up with M mbabu obviously i've got the gold card but you most likely have the ice or fire card but yeah the links top tier now the positions i am going to be playing zacharia in two positions i am going to be playing this guy in a cdm position I'm, and i'm also going to be playing this guy in a sentiment position as well in a 4-4-2 and a 4-2-3-1 formation so let's get into the games and let's see how good zacharia is going to be i'm just going to give that to him because i see this guy's got a lot of players back and honestly zacharia not bad on the ball at all a little heavy touch there but then he does put in a very good tackle he didn't feel bad there He's actually going to challenge this, isn't he? There you go, Zachary. Well played. I don't know who he was up against. It looks like he was up against Hernandez and he easily won that header. Take a touch there. Go for a ball roll. Keep it going. Use that pace. Double ball roll now. I'm telling you guys, he doesn't feel bad on the ball at all. He's feeling quite nice. Like he's taking those little touches, which is always going to be good. Yes, maybe there's certain areas that he could have been a little bit faster. And like right there, I tried to take two instant touches, but he didn't really do it. But all in all, the ball control is nice and he keeps it close. Which I'm going to try to get Zachary to cover that. There you go, man. Good tackle. Nice little turn as well. And I see a pass opportunity all the way to the top on that freestyle weak foot. And it wasn't a bad pass. Honestly, it wasn't. Especially with a freestyle weak foot. I thought that pass was going to be way worse. I'm going to try to get onto him here. See if I can put in that slide tackle. And look at that for a slide tackle. He has to turn. That's a good pass as well. But it's a little bit loose. You know what? It wasn't the greatest of slide tackling animations. Let's all be fair there, right? But he did the job. He got, he got onto it. That's actually a good cross, but Zacharia is there, but he ends up missing the header, and he ends up missing the header again on a second attempt. The thing that makes you think right there is 
if he's got better jumping, does he actually get to the ball there? You know what? I reckon he does. I reckon if he has like 80 jumping, at least he gets a second attempt. He's actually making some movement going forward. And even though he is playing in a CDM position, we have to understand he has got high medium work rate. So he will be trying to go forward time to time. And that is a good interception. It's just it bounces away from us. Get onto him. Don't allow him to turn. There you go, man. Great aggression. He used his strength as well to push him off the ball. And the ref ends up calling it a foul. How? How is that a foul, ref? I'm going to hit this guy with a high press. See if Zachariah can get straight onto him. There you go, man. Nice little turns as well. Not the quickest of turns, but it did the job. Great acceleration. Keep it going. This is against Kempembe. Nice strength. Is there a pass? There is. Can we get him the assist? No, we cannot. Can we at least get the goal? What just happened? How... how how did we not get at least a decent shot off there? Go forward. There you go. Nice ball roll. Nice little turn as well. Well played. Can I go for the finesse shot? It's yellow time. And that was a great opportunity to test out his shooting ability as well, man. I'm just going to run over to him. I reckon he is going to try to go down. And that is great transition speed from Zakaria. Going left, going right, covering both sides. Can we go for the pass as well? Good pass. That's a nice turn. But Zakaria is there to put in that slide tackle. Keep it simple. Pass for the gap. And can I use his pace to get around Guendouzi? I want to see. Oh, okay. This guy thought I was going to go for the cutback there. We're just going to keep it simple and pass into the middle. I like how high he actually comes up. Like, he's not that kind of CDM that sits, like, really, really deep. He does like to go forward a good amount and give me those passing options, which, honestly, I don't really mind. I need to control Zachary here. He's trying to actually go for that turn there, but we're not going to get done like that. He actually thought he could flick that over Zachary and Mbabu. Are you okay? Why can't we just take a normal touch there? Might slide tackle that. There you go. That's a good slide tackle. Not possession based, but he did really well to actually get his long legs onto it. And we do come out with a ball eventually. I'm going to try it. Freestyle weak foot. See how good of a pass it is. I'm telling you guys, his passing ability is definitely nice. Like It isn't anything crazy. Like That's not the most consistent thing I've noticed, but it does get there when the player is literally wide open. He's just going to try to run off kickoff, isn't he? You know what? We're going to go for another slide tackle. His slide tackling ability, you can tell, like, it's there, man. It's really, really good. With his long legs, the way he can wrap the ball, no, not wrap the ball, sorry, wrap his legs around the ball is, like, perfect. Push out there. Don't allow that pass through the middle. That's actually a good pass going up. But once again, man, we're just going for slide tackles on slide tackles on slide tackles. And this guy simply cannot handle me going into a Zachariah every single time. Yeah, I need to go for a cutback here. There's literally no passing option. But Zachary, are chilling. Ball roll. No, he's a little bit slow there. Can he recover though? Look at the strength. Look at the aggression to get that ball back. Don't really want him to turn here. So I'm going to try to get onto him. We're going to go for a slide tackle there as well. He is really good at getting out to players. That is something I'm loving about him, right? He isn't one of those CDMs that you can just sit back with. No, you can really, really get into your opponent's personal space really quickly. And we're going to go for this. See if it works. He, I'm telling you guys, his passing is really nice. So you can go for those passes quite often. Let's give it back to him. Because I want to go for a long shot and I want to score it, please. Green time as well. There you go, man. His long shots are only 74. You can give it a go time to time. Yes, it won't be the most consistent thing. But it may go in, right? You never know. This guy's really running with Sule going forward. Like, what am I seeing here? Can I just put in this tackle here? There you go, man. Good tackle. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's running forward with Sule. And that 180 turn wasn't great from Zachariah, but we still got the ball and it's perfectly fine. That's a good pass, but I think Zachariah with that defensive awareness is going to track it and actually intercept it perfectly. I literally had to do nothing there. That was all him. Get that? Take a good touch as well. Nice. Little chest touch. Accelerate forward. No, I tried to go for a ball roll there. Oh, one. Can we go for another one? Imagine. Hold up a second. What's happening here? Nah, nah, nah. 74 long shots. Hmm, something's up, EA, something's up. It doesn't seem like 74 right now. He's going to go all the way up, isn't he? No, we just couldn't get out to him fast enough. But Zacharia, with that recovery, to go in for that interception is beautiful. This guy's just passing between the midfield, and then I knew he was going to try to pass to the striker there. So we just cut the passing lane, go for a few turns there, and keep it simple. I do enjoy how he feels on the ball. He actually feels way better than what I expected him to feel like. He's going to try to turn here. I knew he was going to try to turn, man. We read it like an absolute book as well. Give that to Nakata. He's open. Go on, Nakata. Give it a go. Oh, okay, Donnarumma. I mean, he was kind of straight down the middle. Nakata didn't have the greatest of shot there. I'm going to go near post again, man. Come on. Let's see if we can score a header with him. That's a good cross. Zachariah. No, man. Like, six foot three. 
But I'm telling you guys, the amount of like headers I've seen, I've seen him actually miss out on has kind of annoyed me a little bit because he's te not technically wide open, but he should be winning that header right there, especially while being in front of the player. I might just hit Witzel here, but yeah, I reckon he was going to try to turn anyway. He's going to run, isn't he? Yeah. Go on, Zachary. Use your strength to hold him off. There you go, man. Well played. Push out here. He's going to want to turn, isn't he? Yeah, we read it like an absolute buck again. Oh, why not? Give it a go. Go on. Not a bad shot. At, like, I mean, it forces the keeper to make a save, right? So it's not bad. So it is time to review, and we ended up playing five games with Zachariah. We actually scored two goals with him, but we didn't come out with a single assist. I feel like that's kind of disappointing, you know, not coming out with a single assist with Zachariah because his passing ability was nice, very nice. You saw me go for those, sh like, short passes, those driven passes. You saw me go for the LBYs, aka the L1 triangle, all the way onto the other side as well, and they were working. Yes, they weren't the most consistent thing. They weren't, like, a so kind of passing, but trust me, me, they were still very very nice so yeah i'm kind of disappointed not to walk away with an assist but hey, it is what it is i'm just happy to walk away with two goals 74 long shots man and we're walking away with two beautiful beautiful finesse shots and obviously they weren't just the only long shots we took we did take a good amount let's say it's just two of them flew into the back of the net i definitely do believe the shadow cam is the way to go like it's so perfect for a car like Zach Zachariah because you clearly can see the acceleration it needs upgrading. So giving him that shadow chem style, giving this guy 93 acceleration with 99 sprint speed, you can tell it really came into play when I was getting out the players. He isn't a slow player. He isn't one of those holding back CDMs. He, you can literally select this guy, full sprint of him, get out to your opponent and put in a very, very solid tackle. Now his dribbling ability, way better than what I expected it to be. Way, way better. I was expecting a card that's obviously six foot three, not the greatest agility. So he isn't going to go for the greatest of turns under pressure, let's say. But he impressed me. He honestly did impress me. This guy under pressure was taking these precise little touches. And I believe it's because of the 90 composure. The 90 composure allows him to keep calm. Allows him not to take so, so many heavy touches, let's say, under pressure. And allows me to skip past players. So yeah, dribbling ability was way better than what I expected it to be. And the defending and the physicals, exactly what you expect it to be. Exactly. Like... The defending, he puts in tackles after tackles, solid ones as well. It's not like no possession-based tackles. No, this guy, when he goes in for a tackle, trust me, he is coming out with a ball. And the defensive awareness as well was something I loved. The defensive awareness, I was seeing it like track players all by himself. I was seeing this guy cut passing lanes. I was seeing this guy do it all. And that's something I really do enjoy for my CDM because that tells me that I don't need to select him every single time, move him into position, and then obviously go ahead and like cut the lane or anything like that. No, he will do that all by himself. And that's something I really did enjoy. And obviously the physicals, the guy was an absolute beast, right? The guy was going up to players, pushing them out the way. This guy was having that aggression as well when going in for tackles, which is something I'm always going to love. Now he's an objective card, so he's free, right? Yes, it's 100% worth the grind. Yes, it's 100% worth the time. It's so obvious, right? He is an absolutely unbelievable card as an objective card. And on top of that, He's a headliner. He's already an absolutely beast of a card, right? So it's like the fact that he's a headliner, the fact that he can go ahead and still get upgraded is simply amazing. Now, would I take this Zacharia card over So? I'm going to be honest, in a sentiment position, I'm taking So. 100% I am. But in a CDM position, I'm taking Zacharia. And I, I feel like it's because of that hype. That height coming into play, the way he can just like extend his legs and just intercept the ball, just grab a ball off a player as well. Like it's honestly insane to have in that CDM position. So yeah, Zachariah, I prefer him in a CDM position over So, but I'm 100% taking So in that sentiment position because of how good his passing is and how good his dribbling ability is as well. Now this Zachariah card, where would I put him in a midfielder's tier list? In a CDM position, S tier, no question about it. But if we're talking about like a centre mid, I would put this card A tier because he isn't outstanding going forward. But yeah, if we're talking about just a CDM, 100% he is an S tier card. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.